Hello, my name is Renee Barabo, the Practical Shaman. Today is August 13, 2011. I've been asked by a friend of mine to share about what is going on at this time in my life and if there was a message to be left in a bottle, what would have been important for you to know? Over the last 50 some years, I've done a lot of work on myself. I struggled from an abusive childhood and I spent a lifetime healing from this trauma. So probably first and foremost, I would want to say that it really is important that we live this life for the next seven generation, and that begins with our children. That children are our future. No matter where we are in time and space, that it's important to nourish these beings who will take over this planet that we leave to them. I hope now that we're doing a good job because when I was growing up, there was a lot that, that was going on in those days that wasn't necessarily advantageous to raising people who are conscious. But now in 2011, we're a lot more awake and what I'm finding is that our children are more awake so that it's even more important to nourish these little beings. The other thing that I've really come to realize is that we really need to look and see what we're doing right. We're so quick to point the finger at what needs changing, what we need to do differently. But what I really, really believe is that what we're doing right is equally as important. Right now we're focusing on helping our children thrive. We're working right now in our lives at creating community, creating gardens, and going full circle back to a time before the Industrial Revolution, understanding the importance of our earth and cultivating our land. We've devastated this earth. Now there's a great big movement in this my lifetime here to go back to the simple things. But what I've come back around to is that I live today present. I live today in simple joy. It's hard to even fathom how much I had to trip around all of the work that I had to do to get back to this simple concept. How I do anything is how I do everything. So for today, I might just get up and go out and, and weed my garden. And that's exactly enough. You know, for years I chased after my own popularity and my own idea of who I was going to be when I was saying something important. And now I've realized that that's not the measure of who I am, but the measure of who I am is how I live in balance with the earth, within myself and within my community. I've been building a holistic network for the last six years. And for a long, long time, I thought it was really, really important to bring a group of holistic practitioners together so that we knew who our our doctors were and our lawyers were and all of the people that we wanted to do business with, these heart-centered people. But then what I realized about two years ago is that we were preaching to the choir and that at this time and space that we've all come to this gate together, that no matter who you are or what you're doing, you're having this awakening. And this awakening is after 2,000 years of living in the dark, we're waking up to who we really are. And it's really, really funny that who we really are is no different than who we really were 2,000 years ago, where the things that mattered were our family, our communities, our service to the earth. So if you're finding this message 200 years from now, 2,000 years from now, and you have some way of translating it into your life, I just really want to say, look and see, what are you doing right?